the Friday Footy Show, brought to you by Intersport Darwin. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Friday Footy Show presented by Intersport. Today, I'm joined by Sam Freeman from the Pints Footy Club. How are you today, Sam? Yeah, good, how are you? Good, thanks for being here. Appreciate your time. We're back into the season after the break. How are the Pints women travelling? Yeah, we're doing okay. Like, we're in fifth position, so, you know, it's something we're not very consistent at the moment. We need to build on that. Uh, we've got four games left, so I think we can do that. Plenty of time. Uh, a bit of a loss last week, couldn't quite keep up with last year's premiers in the buffs, but what did you girls kind of take away from that one? Uh, so we definitely, our weakness at the moment is our midfield and our forward line, so uh, it was definitely evident in there that the midfield wasn't quite there, um, but you know we can work on that. We're stronger this week, we'll see how we go. Nice, good attitude to have. Like you mentioned, you're sitting fifth on the ladder. There's still, still plenty of time come the back end of the season, but do you see a good strong run home? Yeah, I think so. So we're playing one team above and three below. So I think there's definitely potential. We do have more stronger players coming back. So I think it's definitely, definitely something that can happen. Nice. Now this weekend you go up against the Wanderers. They're fresh off the bye. Uh, do you think this will be a good test for the girls? Uh, yeah, definitely. So um, we've definitely tried to strengthen our midfield. Um, Wanderers always have strong, like strong, fast players, but I think we'll we'll be there with them. This time of season, everyone's talking about awards. That discussion starts to come up now. Last year's Gwyn medalist, Sam Barnett, your teammate. Who are some girls we should kind of be looking at come the back end of the season? So I definitely now? think we've got a few girls that can definitely be up there. So I think um, Lise Fenner, um, Katie Stretter, obviously Sam Barnett, and I think definitely looking at um, Robbo from Tars as well. Right, Sam, let's get into our round 14 Women's Premier League tips. First up, it's Nightcliff. They're taking on Southern Districts tonight at TIO2. Uh, I'll go with Crocs for that one. Crocs on that one. Saturday games, the undefeated Tars. They'll take on Tracy Village, 10 a.m. TIO2. Uh, Tars. Tars. Uh, Palmerston and the Buffets, they'll do battle out at Asbuild at 1 p.m. Um, I think I might actually back the, the Magpies on that one. Magpies it is. Finally, Sam, your Queen Ants, they'll go up against the Wanderers Sunday, 11.30 a.m. Yeah, we'll definitely go with Queens. Can't not back yourself. <laughs> fast Five, the quick fire game. It's fast, there's questions, and there's five of them. You ready to go, Sam? Yep. Here we go. What's your pre-footy ritual? Uh, foam roll, then stretch, then get as much touch as I can before the game. Good prep. Favourite game day feed? Wheat Bix. How many? Three. Three Wheat Bix. A song that never fails to get you up before a game. Bleed it out by Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park fan, love it. Any AFLW player to join your side, who would it be? Uh, Moana Hope. Moana Hope. Three things you'd take to a desert island. Uh, my footy kit, water and pizza, because I'll be there for, for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> I love it. Take the pizza. Uh, thanks heaps for joining us this week, Sam. Good luck up against the Wanderers girls this week. Awesome, thank you. No worries. Stick around because we'll announce the play of the round winner for this week and check out what's happening around the grounds. This week's play of the round had plenty of votes, but our winner is Jaden McGrath from the St. Mary's Footy Club for his incredible goal on the most acute of angles. Jaden will take home a $100 voucher, all thanks to Intersport. As of Friday lunchtime, AFLNT has been notified of three forfeits for round 14. Palmerston under 18 boys have forfeited to the Darwin Buffaloes. Palmerston under 18 girls have forfeited to the Darwin Buffets. And Tracy Village Men's Division 2 have forfeited to Waratah. Cruzy, what's happening around the grounds? There's lots on this weekend, Levi. A massive thanks to everyone who has so far generously donated to help tie Martin Page walk again. The donations are not far off reaching their target and every little bit counts. You can contribute to Ty's recovery by heading to the GoFundMe page at www.gofundme.com forward slash help Ty walk again. The AFL women's trial match returns to Darwin tomorrow with the Crows and Fremantle facing off at TIO Stadium. It's free entry for all patrons and the perfect opportunity to see last year's premiers in action here in Darwin. NT Thunder was pleased to announce the return of Cameron Islet to the club in its 10th year. The players are, are certainly why you play any sport and uh, some of my best mates are here at the club and, and, and want to continue to you know, play something that you love with mates that you really you know, enjoy doing things with. See the full video at ntthunder.com.au. You can catch the NITV replay on Saturday night at 8.30pm in your local area nationwide with a top of the ladder clash between Nightcliff and Southern Districts. And don't miss the Southern Cross Television match of the round this Sunday at 2.30pm on 7, mate, when the Waratahs take on St Mary's. A massive thanks to Sam Freeman from the Pints Footy Club for joining us this week ahead of round 14. Plenty happening this week. Get down to a couple of games. 
Don't forget to get your tips in at tipping.aflnt.com.au and be sure, as always, to grab the full men's Premier League teams on the AFLNT website. That's it for another week of the Friday Footy Show. Thanks for your company, and we'll see you next time.